Yo, how you guys doing? Sorry, wait a minute, wait a minute, let me put it first. Yo, wait a second. So, how you guys doing? Apa kabar? And selamat pagi. Welcome to Wasa Bali channel, the number one channel for you to know how to travel to Bali, how to stay in Bali, and condition in Bali now. At the moment, I'm at a brand new house. This is a brand new house and have two bedrooms, one private kitchen and one private pool. Let me show you the room first. If you wake up in the morning, you see the pool immediately. And each room has their own private bathroom. Got shower. Here, where you can put your towel. There you go. Pretty cool, huh? Let's check another room. This is it. This is it. This is the other room. So there's two rooms in this villa, and each room has their own private bathroom. You can put your groceries, whatever, meat, and then you can just cook it in your private kitchen. Look at that. So there you go, guys. There you go. Now, I want you to get how much you think this brand new house with two rooms, one private pool, one private kitchen, which is behind me, and located just five minutes from Sanur, just two minutes from the immigration. Also, there's the biggest mall in Bali now. It's available only like 30 minutes also from here. It's called One World, the biggest one in Bali. I'm gonna take you there in the next video. Anyway, how much do you think? It only costs you 100 US dollars. If you go to the three star, four star hotel like EBS and so on, which costs you like 50 US dollars, only one room with all the rules. You have to wake up early to get your own breakfast. Here, 100 US dollars, you got two rooms, one private pool, one private kitchen, and you can wake up late to get your breakfast. As you can see, we have huge refrigerator here. 100 US dollars, that's all. Traveling with groups like two couples, or you are a family with a grown up kid, don't want to share a room with you. This is the perfect one, man. This is the perfect one. You got your own bedroom there, and you got your children on the end of your couples. Share this, 50 US dollars each. Send me an email if you want more details and also put the link there if you want to rent it through Airbnb. Yes, it's available also in Airbnb. Start from 1st of April. I think enough about this brand new house, brand new villa. Now I'm going to talk about next topic which is, is foreigners still allowed to rent and ride a bike in, in Bali? Okay, so foreigners, until now, until today, they can still rent and ride scooter in Bali and as I mentioned in my previous video which is already got ticked down by YouTube I don't know why my last video two of my last video got ticked down by the YouTube they say I'm violating um, community rule something but well, my video is about how foreigners can rent a scooter I don't know which community that I violated but anyway it's okay so um, so I repeat again, foreigners until now, until today can still rent and ride a scooter in Bali. But it is not as easy as before. What I mean is some rentals is already asked for um, driving license. So if you don't have driving license, you cannot rent scooter. At least that's what the police tell them. They say if the police stop a foreigner riding a scooter and turn out the foreigners, 
don't have driving license, the police then will ask the rental how can these foreigners can rent a scooter. That's what I heard. But anyway, just prepare yourself. Make sure you bring the international driving license from your country or from the country that you are right now. If you want to ride a scooter, make sure the driving license is to, to use to ride a motorbike. Because if your driving license is only for a car, it may not can be applied here if you're riding a scooter. Because here in Indonesia, we got two separate licenses for motorcycles and for a car. And for you guys who are already here in Bali and you don't have international driving license, send me email, I can give you information how for you to get local Indonesian driving license. It's valid for five years, but you can only use it here while in Indonesia. You cannot use it outside Indonesia. Send me email and I'm gonna tell you how to get it. I'm gonna tell you what document required, etc, etc. This is the email. For you who don't have driving license, but you want to rent a scooter and ride a scooter in Bali, which is still allowed. Okay, now I have announcement to make. Please listen up. Look, can you see it? Ah, uh, there you go. Up, oh, there we go. Yes, the immigration will close again. The immigration will close again. There you go. 7 and 19 to 26 April 2023, immigration office will close. Extend your visa. What is it? Extend your visa in advance to avoid overstay. Yes, to avoid overstay because overstay is gonna cost you like one million per day. So, don't forget, pause this video, screen capture it. I repeat again. Look, seven and nineteen to twenty-six. This is not nineteen and twenty-six, yeah, but nineteen to twenty-six of April, twenty twenty-three. Immigration office will close. Will close. So make sure check your little sticker when your visa will be um, expired. Then make sure you do it in advance to avoid because it's quite long. 19, 19, 20, 19, 20, 23, 24, 25, five days, and then weekend. So it's just like you know, seven days close, seven days no immigration. So beware. Okay, I think that's all from now. Um, now is my ninth day fasting. Wow, it's ninth day fasting, man. Twenty-one more day. <laughs> well, it's not today. My ninth day fasting, and now it's already three o'clock. So I still have three and a half hour to kill in. So till then, see you in the island of God. My name is Akimisa, and your host. Oh yeah, about the house, send me email also. It's pretty cool. This is the end of this vlog.